and Vikranta, Mighty, Uttamoja, 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 and Viryavan, very powerful, Sobhadra, the son of Subhadra, Dropodeya, the sons of Dropodi, Cha, and Sardar. The way, all, Eva, Eva, certainly, certainly. Maharata, Maharata, great chariot fighters. Translation: They are the mighty Yudhamanyu, the very powerful Uttamoja, the son of Subhadra, and the sons of Draupadi. All these warriors are great chariot fighters. Asmakam, our. Uh, to, to, but, but vishishta, vishishta, especially powerful, ye, those, those tan, tan, them, them nibodha, nibodha, just take note, just take be, informed. be informed, dvijotama, dvijotama the best of the brahmanas, the best of the brahmanas. Nayaka, 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 captains, captains. mama, mama my, my. sanyasya, of the soldiers, Sangyatam for information. Tan them. Bravimi. I am speaking. Te your. Translation. O best of the Brahmanas, for your information, let me tell you about the captains who are especially qualified to lead my military force. So formally, five thousand years ago. The same system, military, ordinary soldiers, then the captain, then the commander, the commander-in-chief, as there are gradation in the modern age, the same thing was there. Uh, but Maharatha, uh, they had good qualification. Maharatha means alone he could fight with many other charioteers. Uh, they are called Atiratha. Maharatha, there are different grades of fighters. So, so far, uh, Pandavas are concerned, their son, Subhadra. Subhadra means Abhimanyu. Subhadra's son. Because he was Subhadra's son, his name was Subhadra. Draupadi's son, they are called Draupadiya. In Sanskrit, just like Bhagni, sister, Bhagini. Her son is called Bhagineo, Bhag nephews. So there is a link. As soon as we speak Subhadra, that being Subhadra's son. The Subhadra's son, he was only sixteen years old at that time. He was married with Uttara, the daughter of Maharaj Virat. So they are all Maharathas, ordinary, not ordinary fighters. <coughs> this Obimanna was killed by conspiracy by same commander in chief. Bhishma, Karna, Dhanacharya, Asatthama, they all surrounded him and they did not allow him to come out. They were very experienced commanders. So this, this is Khatiya spirit. He was simply a boy, sixteen years old, and he had to be killed by the combined efforts of very, very big com- commander-in-chiefs. He was so great fighter, uh, Abhimanna, Abhimanna So, Draupadi, similarly, Draupadi's sons also there. Sarvaiva Maharatha. Maharatha means one who could fight with one thousand chariots on the other side. They are called Maharatha. Mm. Then, <coughs> Duryodhan, first of all, he pointed out the military strength of the opposite side. Uh, this is intelligence. One should take calculation of the opposing elements uh, or the enemy's side. You know, in fighting, uh, the first thing is to take estimation of the enemy's side. How much they are strong, 
how they have arranged, then one should calculate how to counteract, how to fight with them. This is intelligence. Uh, without taking any uh, calculation of the other side, if you are not prepared, then how you can become victorious? Uh, this is uh, same proposal. That is, upayam chintayat prāgya apayam cha chintayat. A prāgya, an intelligent man, not only think of the bright side, uh, or this business or this fight or this, and it's so many things we have to deal with. Simply we should not uh, calculate the brighter side. There is darker side or We should always think if there is some thief, if there is some rogue, the cheaters, then what precaution I am going to take, and this is injury. Uh, if I simply calculate that in this business I will make so much profit, in the meantime somebody comes and cheats me and go away, then therefore, upayam chintayat prāgya apayam cha chinta. Uh, darker side also should be thought. That is interesting, just like that way. After calculating the darker side, enemy means darker side. They can defeat me at any moment. That is darker side. So after calculating their strength, then the Jadhan is speaking about his own strength. Asmakam tu visishtyaji. Visishta. Not to speak of the ordinary soldier. That visishta. Visishta means are specifically to be mentioned. High officers. Asmakam tu visishtyaji. Tangani bodho dijuttam. He was in commander in chief. For eighteen days there was fight and one after another a commander chief was killed and sixty-four crores of men were killed in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. And the battle was finished within eighteen days, not lingering for some years. No. Uh, fight to the uh, best capacity and finish the business. So everyone, both the sides, Pandava's side and Kaurava's side, all were killed. The Sovadra, Draupadaya, everyone was killed. And the other side also. Only the five brothers, they remained, and the one grandchild who was in the home of the mother, he remained. Otherwise everyone is finished. Within eighteen days, such a great fight it was. And people from all parts of the world, they joined the battle of Kurukshetra. Uh-huh. Somebody was criticizing me. <coughs> hey, Swamiji, you are introducing this Hare Krishna movement. People are becoming coward. Uh-huh. They simply chant Hare Krishna. So I replied uh, that you will see the power of Hare Krishna movement in due course of time. Uh, he required because there are two battles in India. Uh, the battle between Ravan and Ram, Ram Ravan, the battle of Rama, and another battle was battle of Kurukshetra. And in these two battles, the hero was Vaishnav and Vishnu. In the Ram Ravan battle, Lord Ramchandra was there, and his devotee Hunuman, Bajrangi. Similarly, in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Krishna was there and his devotee Arjun was there. So, Vaishnavas, they do not simply chant Hare Krishna. If there is need, they can fight under the guidance of Vishnu and become victorious. Vaishnavas, uh, one qualification is out of twenty-six qualifications. One qualification is Dokha. Expert. If there is need of fighting, they can fight like very expert. Uh, that is also needed. Krishna's, Krishna consciousness does not mean one-sided. Krishna as all-pervading. The Krishna consciousness movement also should be all-pervading. It should touch everything, even politics, sociology, uh, everything is required. Uh, that is the end. Because Krishna's mission is Yada Yada hi dharma saglani bhavati bharata paritranayam sadhunam vinasayacha duskita. 
there is two mission. Not only to give protection to the devotees, but also to kill the demons. Oh, they kill the demons. That is one side. So the devotees of Krishna should be trained up both ways. Not only to give protection to the devotees, to give them encouragement, but if need be, they should be prepared to kill the demons. That is Vaishnavism. It is not cowardism. Oh, it is not cowardism. Why need be? Generally, a Vaishnava is non-violent. Oh, just like Arjuna. In the beginning, he was non-violent. Vaishnava, he said, Krishna, what is the use of this fighting? Let them in God. Oh. So, oh, by nature he was non-violent, but he was uh, induced by Krishna to become violent. <laughs> then your non-violence will not help. You become violent. Oh. You kill them. Oh. I want. So, if Krishna wants, we shall be prepared to become violent also. Oh. And Krishna, that is, that is open secret. That paritrana sadhuna vinasaya jadurskita. Two business of Krishna. Two sides. So those are devotees of Krishna. They should be trained up both ways. They should be prepared. But generally there is no question of becoming violent. Unnecessary. As the modern politicians unnecessarily they declare war. A Vaishnava does not do so. No. Unnecessarily. There is no need of war. When it was completely impossible to settle up the things between the Pandavas and the uh, then Krishna said, all right, then there must be fight. When Dujyadhan declined to spare in a portion of land holding the uh, suchagra, the point of a needle, uh, he refused that I cannot spare in so much land which can hold the point of a needle. Uh, then the war was declared. Uh, there is no question of settlement. Otherwise, Krishna requested that these five Pandavas, they are Kshatriyas. They cannot become merchant, merchant or Brahmana. Brahmana's profession is patan patan jajan jajan dan pratigya. Brahman can take charity from others. Uh, Sannyasi can take charity from others. Not a Kshatriya or Grihastha. No. That is not allowed. So they are Kshatriyas. They cannot uh, take the profession of a Brahmana. Neither they can take the profession of a mercantile man, businessman. They must have some land uh, so that rule over, take taxation, and that is their living means. So spare only five villages to these five brothers and settle up. Uh, or what Dujyadhan replied, no, sir. What do you speak of five villages? We cannot spare even so much land which can hold the point of needle. Uh, then the war went. Uh, so Vaishnava, they are non violent. But if need be, uh, they can become violent. What Krishna said. This is the battle of Kurukshetra. All right, India. Chant Hare Krishna.